What is going on everybody? Welcome to part 5 of our Python with PyQt tutorial video series. In this video what we're going to be talking about is adding a main menu to our application. So main menu is basically this where you've got like file, edit, format, all that stuff. How do we add that to our application? So my first question to you would be where should we actually code a main menu? So no matter where you are on most applications, the main menu stays the same. So I think that's a good idea and we can do that by putting the main menu in our init method rather than putting it in the home. Now as I've already shown you, you can change things dynamically in your application with methods. So if you're like, well what if I ever want to change the main menu based on the screen or the view? Well you can do that. It would just be silly though to put a main menu in each kind of method uh, then when you changed it, you'd have to change it in each method, or maybe you'd have a method that creates the main menu, but you'd still have to call it in every single view. It would be stupid. So we're going to code that in the init method. So before we get to home, and after we do this Python logo, we're going to code the stuff for our main menu. So let's just come on down to here and get started. So first of all, what do we want the main menu to do? So the easiest thing I can think of is you've got a file and you've got an exit, okay? So that's what we're going to code. So you've got, we're going to call this extract action. So we're going to get ourselves out of this application. Extract action is going to equal qt GUI dot q action. So q action, what's that from? Oh, it's from qt. Why well, do we know? It's got the q. q action and the action we're going to want to do, we're going to use this ampersand, and then we're going to say, get to the chopper. Mm -hmm. Picture babies when you, when you think of that. And then self. So that's what our action is going to be. Now we can do something like this. We can say extract action, because now that's a Q action um, object. So now what we can do is we can assign a shortcut to that Q action object. So we can say extract action dot set shortcut and <clears throat> here you just specify the shortcut. So ours is going to be control plus Q. That's usually what quit is. So we'll use the same kind of uh, standards. And then um, can you imagine if you just like made it, I don't know, S? <laughs> I'm not sure you could even do that. We'll have to try that. That would be funny. Anyway, it really makes people angry. Extract action dot set status uh, tip and we'll just have to say <clears throat> leave the app now what is this the status bar is this thing right here at the bottom so it's the thing that has like the line count and stuff and luckily for us the status tip is so simple that we don't really need to code much for it all we have to do when we kind of call the status tip is we need to just say self dot status bar that's it. <laughs> so that just calls the status bar into being and we've already set the status tip so we that's literally all we have to do when it comes to a status bar. Super simple. Now what do we want to do finally with extract action is we want to do extract action dot triggered so anytime this is triggered so it's kind of like our clicked down here but then we're gonna have the same dot connect so we'll do dot connect what do we want it to do? Well, this is leaving the application, so we we'll use the same method that we created before, self.close application. Again, I promise we'll have some new fancy methods before you know it. Uh, do that. We'll keep the status bar. That's fine. And then now that we've done that, so we've created like the menu kind of choice, but now we have to create the actual main menu. So then what we do is we're going to say main menu equals uh, self dot menu bar boom we've done it just kinda like self dot status bar now let me ask you this why did we have to assign self dot menu bar to a main menu uh, variable when we didn't have to do it for status bar well the difference is this even if we just simply called self dot menu bar we would have a menu bar object it would be there and we would have created it no different than we've already done in here but what we need to do is we need to modify menu bar we're gonna add things to it we're gonna add a file we're gonna add this extract action to it and all of that so because we want to modify it we need to assign it to a variable so sometimes that can be confusing like when do I need to assign something to a variable well that's when when you want to actually modify it 
So we're going to sign it to main menu. And then we're going to say uh, file menu. And file menu is going to be main menu dot add menu. And that menu that we're going to add is we're going to ampersand, whoops, in quotes, ampersand file. So that's the name of the menu. Then, whoops, then what we're going to do is file menu dot add action. And then we want to add extract action. And that's it. That's really all you have to do. Now it seems like a lot, but now when we want, anytime we want to add something to the file menu, you would basically make these four lines again. You don't need to touch this one ever again once you've defined it once. Make these four lines for whatever you want, and then to add it to the menu, the file menu at least, with file here, all you would do is file menu to add action, whatever the next action was that you created. So we'll add more as time goes on, but that's how you would do it. So now we'll save and run it. And our quit button is in the way. <laughs> let's close that and let's fix that really quick. Let's put it this uh, back at a, let's do 100, 100. And in fact, uh, we'll leave it at zero for the X, but 100 for the Y. Okay, so now we can actually have a file. And so there's your file. We can click it, get to the chopper, and it exits. And we can also, let's check the, the shortcut, control Q, exits. Now, just for my viewing, for your viewing pleasure, let's just leave Q. Let's just see if that'll work. <laughs> that could be a lot of fun. Um, that's pretty brutal. <laughs> you should just make it like A. Make it some vowel or something. Make it a chat program. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah. You, I'm going to turn you guys into really popular app creators at the end of this. So anyway, that's it with part five and creating the main menu. Like I said, we'll add some more stuff to it. We'll make more menus. Uh, I encourage you to go ahead and try. Try to add something else to the file menu, even if it's just another version of quitting. Try to add something else, and then even try to add a new main menu menu, right? So add another menu, like edit or something like that. We're going to do that in this series, but, but see if you, you understand it enough to go ahead and edit it or kind of play around. It, it doesn't take too long to just trial and error until you have it. So anyways, that's it with this video. If you have any questions or comments up to this point, please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions. And until next time.